Hello everyone, welcome to LaTeX Tutorials. In this video, I am going to illustrate how to add side by side figures in a LaTeX document. Please note, in my previous video, I have illustrated how to add a figure into a LaTeX document and you can watch that video by clicking on the link shown in the top right corner right now and I will leave the link of the same in the description below. Coming to side by side figures, there are two ways of adding a side by side figure in a LaTeX. One is the mini page option, the second one is the sub figure option. I will be illustrating both of them in this video. However, I will start with the mini page option first. Please note, for inserting side by side figures, you would require two more packages. One is called as caption, another one is called as sub caption. Let me add those packages first. Right. After that, let me start by inserting the figure environment. So go to LaTeX menu, go to environment, then go to slash begin figure option and you see the figure environment is added here. Let me just delete the caption line here and I will start by inserting mini pages now. The command is pretty simple once again, slash begin mini page. Right. You can see the mini page environment is added now. Here the width of the mini page is very very important. It will define what is the width of the mini page given the overall text width. For simplicity I will set it to 0.5 the text width. To make sure the figure appears within the middle of the page I will use the command centering both outside the mini page as well as inside the mini page environment. The next command is obviously to include the graphics itself and the command is slash include graphics and you can see the option appears here select that. In the key valves just like in my previous video I will be using the scale option and I will set the scale value to 0.13 that means the image what I am going to display will be scaled down by a factor of 0.13. Next here is where you give the path as well as the name of the file. In my computer I have saved it in a folder called as images. After that I give the name of the figure which is fig underscore one. Extension as I already explained in my previous video is not necessary here. In the next line I will use the caption option and I will call this figure as first figure. Right. So now we have added one figure. To add another figure which appears to the next of this figure, simply copy the complete mini page environment and paste it below the first mini page environment. For simplicity, I am going to retain the same figures in both the first as well as second mini page, but the figure in the second mini page, I will call it as second figure. Okay, you can save this. And run the file. Now what has happened here is I am getting an error called as undefined control sequence and mini page. What this means is that we are expected to put a simple command here to separate the two mini pages and that command is simply to put a percentage symbol there. If you put it here then the LaTeX will understand these are two mini pages which are supposed to appear one next to the other. So save it once again, run it. Here I have made a small mistake. It should be text width. There is a spelling mistake. Correct that. And now the file should be ready. Right. You can see the process exited normally. That means there are no errors. And I come to the images. I can see there are two images. However, the figures are too large and therefore they are overlapping each other. So what I will do is I will scale them down a little bit. Right. You can now see we have two figures side by side. The first one is called as figure 1 and its description is first figure as what we have defined in our first mini page environment 
and the second figure is called second figure as what we have done in the second mini page environment right so that is about adding two side by side figures using the mini page environment coming to the second technique of adding side by side figures the second technique involves a sub figure environment to illustrate that once again i'll go to the latex menu option go to environments select figure remove the caption line give the centering command here you have to give the sub figure environment so slash begin sub figure the width very similar to mini page i'll set it to 0.5 the text width i'm going to simply copy paste the rest of the things from the mini page environment shown above to separate the two sub figures add the percentage symbol here then copy the complete sub figure environment and paste it just below the first one and this we will call it as second figure right let me just save it and run it now okay you see the first set of figures what i have shown here this is using the mini page environment and the second set of figures what i have shown here this is by using the sub figure environment what is the difference the difference is the mini page option creates two separate figures without introducing any relation between them whereas the second one which uses the sub figure option it introduces some relation between them what it does is it relates them by a certain number it says this is the part a of the figure this is part b of the figure and here you can add another caption just after the last sub figure instruction and this will be the main caption for these two figures so i'll give it as simply main caption let me save it here and run it right you can see we have figure 1 here figure 2 here which are generated by using the mini page option then we have figure 3 that's what i said these two figures are now linked and both of them are combined together to call figure 3 so the figure 3 has a description called as the main caption then you have the sub caption for each of the sub figures we have introduced into the latex document right so that is how you will be adding side by side figures into a latex document using the two options which are the mini page option and then the sub figure option thank you for watching have a good day